What's going on? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, good whatever it is to wherever you are at right now. It's your man, Pat Caesar, Caesar LLC, Mobile Mechanic and Roadside Services. And uh, I am here working on this 2007 Pontiac G6. Jesus Christ, this thing has been a headache. I've literally been here all day. Uh, being a mobile guy, this is not very ideal. Uh, we had a valve cover that I needed to replace and replace the valve cover. Trying to take this off. This water neck broke on uh, other pieces somewhere in the car right now. And long story short, after going to multiple junkyards, um, calling the stillership, I could not find a decent price for it, nor the right one. This is the other portion right here that broke off. Uh, this is one of those things from using, uh, oh, from right here, using, uh, see how the nipple's supposed to be? <sighs> That's how it's supposed to be. Uh, it mini sounds good. Uh, but it broke off using water inside of the system instead of distilled. So either way, this video is going to be a quick video on how to do a pressure test. Uh, I got this Harbor Freight radiator uh, pressure test kit. And I ain't going to lie, it's, it's done me justice. Uh, sorry for the noise in the back. That's the mini pulling out. Thing sounds good though. Sounds really good. Well, either way, um, there's a couple things that you want to do. Uh, if you're looking for them, let them, let them drive off. Looking for a leak. Uh, first things first, of course, you want to have everything as patched up as you can. Um, I, after changing this whole thing um, and running through all the loops and, and stuff that I've ran through, I finally got everything patched together. I just got to finish putting a couple bolts on. But uh, what you want to do, get your tester out, whether you're going from the expansion valve or the radiator itself, find the right nipple for it or uh, coupler and i mean this kit i'll put a link below of you know the assortment of it it isn't the very best one but it works pretty good it's fairly accurate from what i've used so far um just want to show you that on this gauge i got 15 pounds and i've had it here for some time now and the reason is uh, is because that's what it calls for so after you find what you need um put the cap on start to build pressure it's gonna take a little bit you're gonna look at the radiator cap or expansion valve and see how many pounds of pressure pounds per square inch that the engine is supposed to take so this is 15 pounds henceforth why i've pumped it up to 15 pounds and the ideal of this is to make sure that it holds steady pressure the reason why i'm doing this is because this aftermarket um uh, water inlet pipe that I'm putting on here does not have the correct bolt size hole I've tried to twist this thing and turn this thing and you can see it is clearly way off way off from uh, that factory one that is over here that broke the dealership wanted uh, uh, over a hundred dollars for it probably would have fit just right or it could have been the same as that one I don't know um, I got it from O'Reilly's and it was uh, like 70 I think it was like 75 bucks um, with tax and everything or after tax before tax I don't really remember but it was in the 70s um, but it fit besides that it was a direct fit well that isn't my main concern main concern is that when I was taking off I told the gentleman hey man this system is probably corroded we should change all these lines but of course you know it had already become a very expensive job um, and I'm doing it as, as uh, efficient as I can to save him money and also still turn a profit um, this hose on the bottom of that inlet cracked. So what I did is move the hose up and move the clamp right where it would be. And I'm verifying because it also doesn't have a bolt where the water pump housing is at, the thermostat housing, to verify that it is still holding pressure. And as you can see, we are still at 15 pounds. This is a four minute long video so far. I've had it on here probably five minutes before. So that means that the system is good. In the event, uh, that you put one of these in and you can't find where your leak is coming from like if you pump it up and it keeps on going down it usually means you got a leak if you can't find where the leak is coming from you can go and buy some dye uh, that stuff works pretty good um, but let's say that you know you do that too and then it still doesn't work I would recommend doing a block test because you want to see if you got a blown head gasket somewhere and that'll tell you whether there's carbons uh, building up uh, carbon exhaust uh, or NOx building up inside of the uh, cooling system that indicated the blown head gasket because if you can't find it anywhere else uh, that's kind of your only other option but you can get pin sized holes don't get me wrong this thing was leaking 
this thing was leaking and I kept coming and filling this cooling up only to find out that it didn't I couldn't find where it was leaking from and uh, it had no other indications that it was leaking so I'm gonna knock this out because I got a, a good drive back but that's how to do a pressure test and um, also for a little rant shame on you Jim I hate I hate American cars I can't tell you how much like Corvettes uh, uh, um, uh, Camaros must not even really Camaro Mustang. Higher end American cars, performance wise, the ones that drink a lot of gas and go fast, they're they're incredible. Like <laughs> they are beasts. But I should have took a picture of this because this American car is stamped all over the valve covers and intake. That is actually made in Mexico. So it was probably you know designed in China, uh, shipped parts over from Korea and then assembled in Mexico and then shipped here. And for some reason it's still cheaper to do all that than to just build it here. Shame on you. Shame on you. I try to tell people if you never want to call me, get your Honda, Toyota, or like that Acura. That's cold. That's cold. Don't get me wrong. When things do break on there, you're going to pay. But it ain't like, you know, fixing a Mercedes or BMW or anything like that. This should not have taken me, you know, eight hours to do. But that's finding the fluid or finding the, finding the pipe, getting the pipe. I got to put it, put everything, put the bolts back on it. Um, testing like I'm doing now. And running around i'm in a beautiful altamont springs florida and um the seminal states right behind me uh it's been a good day a gloomy day but that's how to do a, a radiator pressure test on uh any modern vehicle or i guess older vehicle too oh it's time to stay too cool it's your man pat caesar I'm telling you guys like always be promo no beneficio until next time peace